So as the weighted mean is different from uh, weighted uh, or unweighted mean, so is the unweighted standard deviation different from the weighted standard deviation. And even though this is not required for the assignment that you're doing, but I will illustrate the concept of weighted standard deviation um, and how is it computed. Now, uh, before I illustrate it, let me just show you how weighted standard deviation looks like. This is the formula where you say you sum up the um, deviations of each observation, each course evaluation from the weighted mean, and then you square it and then multiply it by the weights, which is the number of students, and sum this up, and this becomes your numerator, and then in the denominator, you sum up all the weights, multiply them by n minus one, that is the number of uh, um, students, or number of observations, minus one divided by the total number of observations, and take the square root of it. And, and um, so xw is the, the weighted mean, um, wi is the number of students, and n is the number of observations, and here's the code in, in R that you can run, and I've already pasted it in R to illustrate it, uh, or R commander. So the, the number of observations in a particular data set could be found by typing length and then the number in the variable name. So N becomes the length of students, which is 463, I think. That's the number of observations in the data set. Weighted mean, as I showed you earlier, weighted dot mean eval students, let's call it XW. Notice this, this, um, this um, arrow type thing makes it, uh, assigns the total number of uh, observations um, uh, to a variable n, and xw becomes the weighted mean. It, it's almost same as typing xw equals to weighted mean. And the weighted standard deviation, which I denoted as sw, sdw is equal to the square root of this thing, all here, this formula, which is nothing different than what I showed here on this, uh, on this slide. This is basically uh, typed up here. And if I were to uh, select this and and I say accept the last line, okay, this is getting a little tricky. Um, and I say submit. So my observations this have been run. And in the last line, I just wrote down n x w and s t w to see what those values are. And here it is. There are 463 observations, which is n weighted mean that we calculated is 4.022 and the weighted standard deviation is 0.524. Now there's a, there's an observation, you have to also cal calculate the percentage evaluation, uh, that is percentage of students who evaluated out of, so that's simply a new variable that you can create by typing p dot eval, um, percentage evaluation is equal to the number of students who fill the survey divided by the total number of students registered in the class, and you can find the mean by just typing Say submit. So the percentage evaluation is my 0 0.744, 74% of the students evaluated the course. Notice that this is just uh, um, unweighted and, I, and you don't have to weight it. You, this is fine. You can use this special pack, package in R which is called HMISC. It, it may not be loaded on your uh, uh, machines in the computer labs, but if you're running it from your own machine, you can type install that packages in, in uh, codes HMIC dependencies equal to true in R and then type library HMIC and these very these new functions weighted variance and others become um, available to you and uh, remember that standard deviation is just the square root of the variance. Now how do you do uh, weighted frequency distributions? Um, it's very simple this is the command cross tabs and then you say students is your weights and let's say we would like to find out what percentage of the courses were taught by um, uh, uh, faculty members and then we say gender divided by sum of students, and students serve as weight and gender as, as the, the percentage of courses taught by males and females. Let's see this uh, concept illustrated here. So let's begin with gender, and now we want to find out not the unweighted um, percentage, but the weighted percentage of gender. So if I do this, this command table time, table of gender divided by the sum of table gender, I get the uh, unweighted counts for gender. So let's do this first. Unweighted, that is. So you see that if you do it unweighted, you have 42% of the courses here taught by females and 57% of the cases the courses taught by males. But this is unweighted by the number of students. And if you do the same for minority, you, send, you can say 100 times table minority divided by the sum of table minority, and that's it. You find out that 13.82% courses were taught by, um, uh, taught by professors 
uh, who were identified as minority, and 86% of the courses were taught by professors who were not identified as minorities. And you can repeat the course, this for native and native speakers of English language, tenured versus untenured, and, and, the, and the like. Lastly, how do we do weighted frequency distributions? The command for it is called cross tabs. We put students as the weight and then gender as the variable of interest and then divide it by the sum of weights which is students. I just click here and I say submit and when I say submit I get the uh, weighted uh, frequency distributions. Now I see that 40% of the courses were taught, 40% of the students who evaluated the courses were taught by females versus 59.5% of the courses taught by males. Let's look at the, how do you subset the data and, and if you want to see the differences between um, let's say lower division courses versus up div upper division courses you can either do this you can say data active data set and under active data set you say subset active data set and a dialog box appears and you can write a command here and write the new name of the data set and say OK or the command it would execute is this I'll call my new data set upper and I say subset this data set which is teaching ratings comma and I say subset is equal to division that is the upper and lower division courses subset data so that only upper division courses are selected so division is equal to and notice there are two equal to signs upper and upper is in, uh, in quotes end of bracket and if I execute this it will create a new data set called upper where it has subsetted the data set including only those observations that corresponding to the uh, corresponding to the upper division courses so I say submit and I can click here you can see that the command was executed and I click here and I see oh there's my course upper I say okay and you can do first the lower by by selecting this command just repeating uh, calling it lower instead of upper and using division equal to lower rather than upper and this would be done and if I want to do the weighted mean I will first attach upper and repeat the, the uh, um, calcs again so here we say attach upper and then find the weighted mean in the upper data set where you, for the variable evaluation weighted by students and I say weighted mean and my weighted mean is 3.99 and if I were to check it against the, the table in the book in the paper and the paper said course evaluation 3.993 so I got the right answer to the four five six decimal points. And finally, um, um, if I were to do the weighted mean for lower, I have to repeat the same thing. And here's the library I mentioned, HMIC. You load the library and you can find the weighted variance and you can uh, find this weighted standard deviation with it as well.